When these very different twins were born with opposite skin tones, the whole world was left in shock. Several years later, this is how they look now and where life is taking them. Stacy and Padayit have been together for many years and had always talked about wanting children of their own. They both thought they would make fantastic parents and even their family, friends and other loved ones thought that it would make complete sense for them to bring a child into the world. So they set off trying to conceive. It took a while but eventually Stacy fell pregnant and she and Badayid were over the moon with excitement. They made all the preparations to welcome the child into the world and the pregnancy went incredibly smoothly. There was one little hiccup though. During the first scan it was revealed that Stacy and Badayid were not going to be having one baby as they had originally suspected but rather two of them, twin boys. Of course they took it in stride. Double the babies, double the excitement, right? They settled on the names Danielle and David, and from that moment, their excitement grew nearly as quickly as Stacy's belly. Eventually, Stacy went into labor, and Badaid rushed her to the hospital. She was taken to the maternity suite, and before too long, they finally welcomed their children into the world. But this meeting brought with it a massive surprise that left them both shocked. In fact, even the doctors and midwives couldn't believe what they were seeing. Despite Danielle and David Omeron being born only minutes apart, they couldn't have been any more dissimilar in appearance if they tried. Danielle was born with dark skin, just like both of his parents. It was obvious that he belonged to both of them. But it was when David came out that things started to get a little crazy. He had the most white and pale skin that anyone in the birthing room had ever seen. It was paper white, almost as if he was made out of snow. It truly was one of the most incredible sights ever and had people not been there to witness it happen, they might have believed it to be some kind of hoax or prank. But it was no hoax, nor it was a prank. Stacy had given birth to one black baby and one white baby. Their tiny faces looked very similar and both boys shared several key features on both of their parents. But that still didn't take away the shock that David was white. He even had a little shock of golden hair on top of his white head. But how could such a strange thing happen? And why had no one noticed this before during their scans? Well, it turns out that scans can pick up many things, including how a baby is sitting inside their mother, how it is forming and developing, and even its facial features. But one thing they cannot tell is the color of the baby's skin. Now, Stacy and Badayid had just assumed that because they were both black, both of their children would be black too. That made sense. But no one could have predicted that one of the babies would have been born with albinism. Being an albino meant that there is a lack of melanin in the body, causing pigmentation not to be sent to the hair and skin. This meant that instead of having any kind of complexion, albinos are born completely white and pale. Doctors soon confirmed that this was exactly what the infant was suffering from. Still, that didn't take away from the fact that Stacy and Badaid loved both Danielle and David very much. The twins who both shared lovely dark brown eyes would get a lot of attention wherever they went. Their family all loved and admired the boys equally. They were taken aback by the looks of David, but very quickly came to accept them as one of their own and welcomed them and his brother to the family. They were both gorgeous and adorable, and the entire family admired them greatly. Living in the city of Lagos in Nigeria, it was rare to see white children. So it came as a bit of a shock to the community when one started to appear in their midst. The twins were regarded as kind of local celebrities and people would often stop Stacy to ask her about the boys and even ask if both the children were hers, which she of course proudly told them they were. Sometimes people accepted the answer and moved on, though others thought that she was fooling around or trying to prank them. Stacy never took these reactions to heart though. It wasn't personal and they weren't attacking her or her children. In fact, she often recalled how she herself was completely shocked when she first saw how white David was, so she could see why other people were so startled at his unique looks. It was a rare thing indeed to see a pair of twins that were different in colors. In fact, there was very little, if any, information about twins that were born different colors. Cases had been documented in the Netherlands and Mozambique over the past few years, but considering the number of babies born each and every day, the cases of albinism in one twin were basically negligible. One thing that both Tracy and Badaid were both very grateful for though was how they had never heard any hurtful or disparaging comments about their children. While they were a strange sight to normal everyday people, 
and a scientific wonder to specialists in the medical profession, everyone treated the entire family with love and respect. Besides, how could anyone judge these two adorable boys? Stacy considered herself to have been blessed by God. He must have looked down on her and decided that she deserved something special in life. And that's exactly what she received. No one else had babies quite like hers, and for that she was eternally grateful. She knew how special the children were, and she hoped that the world would soon recognize that fact too. Well, recently, Stacy got her wish. She was eventually approached by a UK-based modeling agency who had heard about Danielle and David and had understandably fallen in love with them. The agency was interested in representing the boys and wanted to book them for all kinds of modeling photo shoots. They began to negotiate, and Stacy and Badait even booked a trip to the UK to hopefully sign Danielle and David to the agency. Of course, David and Danielle were very cute children. First and foremost, that was the key element that prompted the agency to reach out. But its representatives were truly taken by David's albinism and how he formed an almost opposite image of Danielle. It didn't take a creative genius to figure out that these boys were an untapped gold mine. The agency told Stacy and Badaid that the boys would be a hit with the public and that everyone would love how they looked. Whatever they were modeling, be it clothing or homeware, they would draw the attention of the public who were sure to adore them. To see such adorable yet unique twins anywhere was a rare thing indeed, and with just a little work, everyone could benefit from it. Both the agency and Stacy and Badaid would make plenty of money. Danielle and David would start to form a financial nest egg that they could rely on when they were older. The public would be widely introduced to these two beautifully special boys and their pictures would raise awareness on the topic of albinism. So this story really does have a happy ending. Many times in life, you will hear of families that struggle when something out of the ordinary comes along. Perhaps they don't know how to handle their miracles, or maybe they received lots of negative attention from other people. But when it came to Daniel and David, Stacy and Badaid had nothing but good experiences. It was clear that they had been blessed with two incredible boys, and it just so happened that one of them had albinism. It wasn't a drawback or a hindrance, but only a small part of why they loved Daniel and David very much. And now they're getting older, this is what these beautiful boys look like. As they age, it is easier to spot the similarities between them and the features that they both inherited from their parents. Now everybody can see that they are twins, even though they still look completely different at first glance. However, they share the typical unbreakable bond that links twins and are already dripping their toes in mischief. Their parents are just glad that they will never have trouble telling them apart and couldn't be more grateful for the blessing they received. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? Have you ever heard of twins that were two different colors? How would you feel if you were the parent of children that look like this? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.